setting your goals and reading your goals aloud every night. This is important for every real estate agent, whether you're brand new or you are experienced, right? Here's the deal. Every year around November, I do a training where people visualize their, they, they set their goals. It's called the 12 month planning and they break 12 months into quarters, into months, into weeks and down into days because you'd be amazed at how much you can get done in, in a month. Um, people overestimate how much they can get done in a month and they underestimate how much they can get done in a year, right? So in order for you to read your goals, you need to set your goals. So if you haven't done that yet, and this is, a, there's a training that I did recently um, that was it was kind of a long training, but it was a great training. It'll get you excited, it'll get you pumped up, it'll get your mind right. What I'll do is I'll have my team put the link to that inside of this. This is gonna help you with your real estate financial goals, your health, wealth, community, philanthropy, relationships. It really helps you nail down exactly what you want in not just your business, but also in your life. Here's the deal. You know, there's research about when you write goals down and you declare them, the chance of you actually getting them and, and reaching those goals is significantly increases. Also, when you could recognize what typically gets in the way, which is a part of this training that I'm gonna put in the link and how you're gonna change your behavior, that the chances of you um, having that happen actually decreases. But also when that, if something does happen, that thing that gets in the way, if you identify how you're gonna be able to fix it, you're much less likely to be able to achieve the goals. There's a lot of things that are really important about achieving your goals. If you can't see it, you can't believe it. If you can't see it, you don't know where you wanna go, your brain doesn't know how to get you there. Setting goals helps prime your brain train your brain to actually help you spot opportunities and prime opportunities to help you create like the most abundant area of your life, right? Not just money, not just business, not just real estate, but all the other aspects. So every single day after reading your manifesto, which was the first, first thing, I want you to read your goals out loud, watch your goals, like look at them, read them out loud every single day. Why? Because you, you're gonna forget, okay? Now, the training that I have you do for the whole year, it's really a detailed plan of different aspects of your life. And you don't need to read each and every one of those every day. Although I will tell you, if you spent 15 minutes and actually read those, the chances of you actually creating that life will increase more than you ever know. Um, the heart of this is visualization, right? When you visualize things, research shows that your brain, the neurotransmitters in your brain, they don't know the difference between what you're actually thinking about and what you're actually doing. And there's, there's actually a study on it, multiple studies, where they'll show people that are just shooting the basketball, right? And they compare three groups. One group that actually shoots the basketball, I think it was like for 20 days. One group that visualized shooting the ball for 20 days and one group that does nothing. The group that did nothing, zero, zero improvement. The group that actually physically did the did the activity of shooting the ball, they increased by 21%. The group that visualized, didn't actually do it, but visualized it, they increased by 20%. 20% increase, only 1% less. Basically the same, right? All from visualization. That's why setting your goals is very important. Reading them out loud is very important, right? Because when you read them out loud, then you're, you know, you're telling your brain, this is what I wanna do, right? So think about this. What typically gets in your way? What are the patterns that you've created in your business, right? Like you've got Got these goals is there something that you always say you want to do that you're not doing is there a part of your business where you're like i want to do this this is so important but you just something always gets in the way and, you, and maybe you're saying it's the interest rates or it's the inventory or it's because it was december or it's because you know you're a single parent i was too i sold 69 houses maybe you just went through a divorce i was too the year that i sold 69 houses so maybe it's the fact that you're saying that the reason is because of your childhood or your past i get it the thing is that we are the only one responsible for creating our life. It's not your parents' fault, the economy's fault, the recession, the interest rates, the inventory, the competition. It's none of those things. It is you. So the second that you get really clear on that and self-identify that you are the only one responsible for making your life, nobody is going to come save you. You deserve everything. And really identify what are the patterns that keep getting in the way of giving you the success that you want. When you can identify that and become aware, self-awareness is huge. When you can do that, you'll be amazed at what you can achieve in your real estate business and in your life. Abundance is, and wealth is not just about money, it's about every aspect of your life. And that's what this series is going to focus on. So. Just like my daughter Jalen, reading her goals out loud. Remember, I'm doing this series to show my daughter who just got her license two days ago exactly what she needs to do every single day to have a successful real estate uh, career is to uh, 
basically retire in five years and be a stay-at-home mom. So she's got a lot of work to do. Okay, so number one, read your manifesto. Number two, read your goals out loud, which means you need to have set them. This is very important. Remember, mindset is more important than skill set. If you can't get these things right, you're never going to be able to have a successful real estate career. And that is the reason why 87% of agents fail within the first five years. But here's the good news. That means that there's so much opportunity for you if you just take this seriously and stick to it. Remember, I sold over 2,300 homes in my career and this is exactly the type of things that I did every single day. And I forgot to also remind you, dressed and ready to go every day by eight o'clock. Dressed, ready to go, clothes on, makeup done, hair gel on, hat on, suit on, whatever it is that you wear, you are at your desk ready to go to work every single day at eight o'clock, okay? All right, um, look out for the next video. My name is Krista Maysher. Hope this is helpful. Do me a favor, subscribe to this channel so we can notify you when new trainings come up. This is our series on exactly what to do in 2024 or as a real estate agent, whether you're new or experienced and want to do more in your business to have a successful real estate career. I'm Krista Maysher. I'll see you next time. I hope this is helpful. Uh, do me a favor. If you are interested in learning how to utilize innovation, technology, social media to become a top marketer, to be a top producer in real estate, sign up somewhere on this page for our three-day Unstoppable Agent event. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.